Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, Please refrain from What for favor for donate by Stand back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Do not destroy vital testing apparatus.
Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. remember what witty banter I said before but I'm sure it was brilliant so we'll just assume that I said some hilarious things and go with that um Welcome to test chamber four. yes we're in we're test chamber four. Well. oh she has praised me Where's my radio? Ah. Okay, so, um, for, I was trying to say, um, that I haven't been doing great lately because I was, pardon me, put on a new medicine for my migraines and it was making me very foggy and tired extra. Um, I don't think she's telling the truth. Um, but I've stopped that now, so I'm a bit more with it. But I'm still very tired, so I might not be able to manage a full two-hour stream today. We'll see how it goes. And then I was asking how you guys are. Oh, 5 a.m. space. That's awful. I'm so sorry. And then, oh, then I asked, um, and then I asked you how your new work has been, but obviously you did not hear me ask that because we had no sound. So I will ask again, how has your new work been aside from hating getting up at five? Which I very much sympathise with, that's awful, I hate that you have to wake up at that time. I don't see the radio in this room. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, there it is. Going okay so far. That's great. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. <laughs> As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the <laughs> truth in three, two. Enhancing the truth. Oh, thanks, Crowdly. I appreciate that. My throat's still really sore as well. I went to the the doctor and they said they had I have to go to a larynx specialist. Because <sighs> I have to see a specialist. I can't just see a normal doctor. My friend thinks that I should be on the lookout uh, for a lady with a seashell necklace who has clearly stolen my singing voice. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the aperture science high energy, unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject hometown here. <gasps> I am the proud of subject town, hometown, yay. I feel so validated. <laughs> oh yes, GLaDOS did alternative facts before it was cool. Let's see if I can get you guys in a better place so I can see your messages more easily. That might work better. Okay, what room are we in now? Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't see the um the radio, but I hear it.
Oh, um, have you tried wearing a suit entirely made of ice? That should cool you down. That will totally work. I see no flaws in this whatsoever. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. And thank you for the feeling better wishes. I appreciate that a lot. And I don't see the radio and I need my radio. Which is the crap? Ah! That's the crouch button. Oh, that is an awkward position for me. Where is my radio? Aha! I found the radio, guys. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Wearing a wearing a suit made entirely of ice will solve all the problems of a heat wave, and it definitely won't melt. Ah, oh, thank you, space buds. Come on, where's my funny radio signal? That did not work. Maybe it's up by the door. I can never remember where they all are. You think Tom Nook got into your brain? <laughs> Have you been obsessively playing Animal Crossing then? I saw the pictures you've been putting on Twitter. They've been very cute. And it oh, we got the signal! He's going to charge you loads of interest for uh, using your account to make you popular. I definitely didn't just spill a bunch of water down myself. Oh god, that's so cold on my tummy. <laughs> In real life, we're just in Animal Crossing. I'm wet now. And kind of cold. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark <laughs> on your official testing report, followed by death. Good luck. Well, I definitely don't want to get that unsatisfactory mark. That would just be awful. Just break my heart. Oh jeez, you still have to pay that many bells? That's so many! Man. How big was the extension that it's costing you 198,000 bells? I don't know man, the same reason the Sim makes it the Sims makes it so much fun to micromanage human lives. <laughs> Take care of children in real life? No. Take care of a family of eight children in the Sims? Yes. I don't want to work no 9 to 5 job. Wait, in The Sims you're telling me I can work a 9 to 5 job? This is fantastic! Video games make everything better. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. I immediately believe you. I implicitly believe her. Exactly, that three times speed though. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. I cannot jump very high. I want to get on the block to grab the radio. Oh well.
your little character that you made for Animal Crossing is so cute. I like that t-shirt you designed. Hello again. That was an excellent warning. I feel very warned. Oh no, back to square one. That sucks. Wee. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. <laughs> One of my favourite quotes from this game, I don't know why, is speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. I have no idea why that one resonates with me so much, it just does. I'm so sorry that you have to start all over again. I hate when that happens. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Wee. Oh, don't forget we have that. I have that soundboard that I set up if you want to have a mess around with some sounds. I put a bunch on there. I may have gone a little too crazy and put a too few, few too many on there. There's like four pages. I got a little overexcited. Or I mean, Chibi totally did that according to the Discord because she's a very smart doggy who refuses to be my co host. Turns out that if she does not have an incentive of being pet, she will not stay here. That is some excellent advice. Let's see. Uh, it's easy to go back up. You know. <laughs> Oh, uh, just scroll down the page, um, um, and you'll see them there on a board that says soundboard. And then, you know, have that. Also, is your sister some kind of tyrant? I need to get over there first. Oh, darn it. That is not what I need to do. That is what I need to do. That is what I need to do. Oh, I remember now. No, that ball is going the wrong way. I'm glad those balls can't get in here to hurt me. That would be very unfortunate. <laughs> She's your little sister? Hey, we got it. I put that one in for when we find secrets in Tomb Raider. Or, you know, whenever you feel like it. Whoop whoop! <laughs> Isn't it nice to be told that a device is more valuable than people. <laughs> I'm glad that one shouted out to you. Uh, I, I too have a little sister, and yes, they can be tyrants. And she does not watch my streams, so I feel safe in saying that. Watch, this will be the one she watches. I cannot watch, I cannot get my radio, it's on the other side of this door. Uh,
But feel free to mess around and press as many of those buttons as you like. I made many. Hopefully I won't spill water on myself this time. Woohoo, I did not. Uh, I could not remember whether yours was older or not. I remember mentioning her little fire escapade in Tomb Raider 2. Yes, she is four years younger than me. And yes, she murdered me viciously in Tomb Raider 2. Fling myself, lovely. I love being told to fling myself. Never sounds offensive at all. Um, Orange of Orange and Peachy is starting um, Tomb Raider 2 tomorrow. Um, and uh, hopefully she will not have the same incident of setting herself or somebody setting her on fire when she gets to that bit. I missed. There we go. Ouch. I hit a wall. And she has never played it before. And she just managed to complete Tomb Raider 1 on um, last Friday. And we were all very proud of her. It was very good. Um, damn it. Um, damn it. Why do I keep hitting the thingy? There we go. Uh, so she'll be stuck. <laughs> she will be starting Tomb Raider 2. And I'm going to attempt to direct her down to those two uh two T-Rexes in the first level. Oh yes, if you can if you can catch it, I would recommend. She's uh, a lot of fun to watch as she has never played it before and she does not have the benefit of me to help her like Tom did. Although I do provide her with handy dandy tips and she calls me her guy in the chair. Oh, okay, nighty nighty, thank you ever so much for dropping by, and I hope you have a wonderful day at work tomorrow, even though you have to wake up at 5am, and I hope it's not too hot for you. Don't forget to wear your outfit of ice. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. Ah, GLaDOS. She so and much cares for me. You can feel how much GLaDOS really cares for me. Ah, it's this one. Ah, there's my radio. I have to grab it as we'll go by. Okay, let's see, we got that one there. She was um she was particularly fond of the uh, the way the Atlanteans exploded at you in uh, in well, in Atlantis in Tomb Raider One. So I'm gonna try and make sure that she can find all the uh, secrets in the first level of Tomb Raider Two, so that she can get the um, the 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 grenade launcher because I feel that she very much needs the grenade launcher. I think she'll have a lot of fun with it. Darn, I missed. Whoops. Oh, I hit the button. Well, that is not what I meant to do. Okay. That is on. Excellent. Oh, it fell off. That is just uncalled for. Stay there this time. Apparently I need some work on my aim. She was not fond of Natla though. Uh, 
Oh yes, yes. She's gonna she's gonna have to time that jade dragon very well. Previously mentioned required test protocol. We can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. I don't believe her. I think she's still lying to me. Uh, yeah, the, the stone or silver dragon, whichever you want to call it, that one's easy. The jade dragon requires a lot of timing. And the gold dragon, whilst hard to find, is easy to get. I'm in danger! <laughs> nice. Um... Um... No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. I think that means I'm going to turn into the Hulk. Um, yes, it's the middle one that's very fiddly and tricky. I think she's going to be quite, um, whoops. Oh, um, quite thingamajig, because, um, surprise, that's the word I'm looking for. Because the secrets in the first one are all obviously items, and then this one suddenly they are very much not items anymore. They are dragons, and you have to get all the dragons if you want any of the items. Wait, no, I wanted that one to be orange. Because I always automatically click with my finger on that one. Yeah, I will forget otherwise. Oh yeah, I need the cube first. What am I doing? Like I said, my brain is not back to how it was completely. Which is definitely not as good as it used to be. I'm going to have some testing done soon. And, um... And so I was talking to my mum about some stuff from my childhood. And I found out I was on the gifted and talented registry when I was a kid. And I had no idea. Whoa! That was confusing. Wow. I asked my mum, so wait, does that mean like they were supposed to like help me get into university and stuff? And she was like, oh no, it just means you're on a list. And I'm like, just just a list? That that does nothing to help. And she's like, oh yeah, we know. It's totally pointless. <laughs> there we go. I got my block. My sister was on it too. I told my husband and he was like, they just kept a list of you? That's really creepy. <laughs> oh yes, it's a very important list. Precious block. It's not the most precious block. We haven't got to that one yet. I hear the radio. Where is my precious radio? Oh, well, that's just rude. <laughs> Oops, I died. That is not what you're supposed to do with a block. Oh, there's my radio! I found it! That is, how the heck am I supposed to get that? Um, fun fact, I cannot stand the Titanic um, because my cousin, um, every time we would go and visit her, she would... Um, she would make me watch the Titanic every single time. And that is a long movie. Every single time. And I was very young. So I've seen that so many times. And I've forgotten which portal. Darn it. Um, orange, okay. Um, so now I cannot stand the Titanic. But that, that flute, that makes me laugh every time because it just sounds so bad. <laughs> oh. And I don't think Tom's actually seen the Titanic. 
but he has sort of been in a bit of the Titanic because when we went to um Ooh, the complimentary victory lift, lovely. Um, when we went to um, Disney on our honeymoon, um, they were still doing the backlot tour at MGM, and um, they have this bit where they pick people from the audience to recreate um, watery bits from like Titanic and like Pearl Harbor and stuff, all the Michael Bay and stuff and what's it called thingy what's that guy called the guy that did titanic i can't think of his name his name is completely gone that guy um all those things and tom got selected and he got very wet the enrichment center is committed to the well-being of all participants thank you cake and grief counseling <gasps> will be we get cake at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Guys, guys, we're gonna get cake. It's gonna be great. I have no reason to not believe her. James Cameron, thank you. Oh, that was gonna bug me for ages, thank you. Um, but they don't do that anymore because they shut down the backlot tour and everything. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay then. Hopefully, come on. Yes. Wait, what? Are you telling me I'm not really going to get cake? Oh yeah, it, it had been there for like 20 years at that point. Um, and they shut it down and they replaced it with um, the big Star Wars land, which we haven't gotten to go to. Um, there you are. Um, but yeah, they did a huge, huge replace thing. I'm not. I I really did, uh, did like the um the backlot tour, the the that that bit at the beginning was a bit weird because it was very Pearl Harbor centered, which was very odd because Pearl Harbor was not like a big hit, um, but the actual backlot tour itself was a lot of fun. Um, I thought this was supposed to move. Oh, I have to set that off. That's right. Um, it has like this catastrophe canyon thing where you uh, which one is the ball coming from um, where you is that going to hit that right I think so um, where you get like it oh no it's not apparently It looks like a bunch of accidents and stuff are happening and like explosions and things like that. And that was a lot of fun. I have many fond memories of that. Um, and because I, I have a um, weird brain that's good at remembering some things and bad at remembering others. Even though we would go like years apart, I would always remember that the tour guide person would always say, now if you sit on the right of when we'd get to a certain bit if you're sat on the right of the train you're going to get a little bit wet and my parents would always look at me and laugh ha ha you're gonna get wet because i had always insisted on sitting on the right and then the other shoe would drop because i would have remembered which they had not the tour guide would then say if you were sat on the left you're going to get very wet and for some reason even though they had been going much longer than i had they had never remembered this bit um but I always did because of my weird brain that works that way. But that information is now useless even though I still remember it. And now I will never get to share that with my own future children. Which makes me very sad. And they've replaced it with a huge Star Wars area that I have yet to experience. Ooh, oh, the lifts automatically go up. Nice, okay.
you there. Pop you there, because I'm thinking this is timed. Oh, that TikTok tells me I was right. Yes! You can donate one or all of your vital organs to the aperture science of the steam for girls. It's true. Yes, I'm sure what little girls need for self-esteem is organs. Uh, it was. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why my parents never remembered what side to sit on. Um, they, they, they were real bad at remembering that sort of thing. Um, there was another really funny event that I remember. The, the first time when I was... Gosh, how old was I when... I don't remember, maybe I was about nine when the Men in Black ride was first a thing. Um, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is let's get some water. Available. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. I might have some trouble because I'm not an android. Um... Right, so I don't remember how old I was exactly when, um, I love the turrets, they're so cute. Um, <laughs> excellent use of that. That was wonderful. Um, I think I was maybe about nine when the Men in Black, um, ride at Universal first became a thing. Um, but, so, uh, you would, you would go on there and they would warn you do not use uh do not press the little red button on your gun it is do not press it it is completely forbidden it is a very bad thing to do do not press it um so of course they obeyed that um and then once you get into the ride there's like the the portion where you are doing the training one with the cut the cardboard cutout aliens and then it's like oh no it's the real thing there's aliens attacking we need your help you you're the only one that can help us etc etc so you go and fight the real aliens and then there's a little speaker in your um in your gun that you can that you might not be able to hear it depends if you're listening for it or if you just happen to have the gun close to your face because that's how you shoot like I used to. And then right at the end when you're about to fight the big boss it says the speaker in the gun starts saying this is it, this is the only way you can do it, you have to press the red button, I know we told you not to, I'm paraphrasing, I can't remember the exact phrasing, but you need to press the red button now. So I pressed it. No one else in my family heard this. And then we get to the scores at the end and my score is like so much higher than all of the rest of my family. And my dad used to do um, shotgun shooting competitions. Uh, so he was, he's a good shot. So they were all flabbergasted as to how I had scored so much higher than them. And I, I didn't tell them for ages uh, how, how I had scored so much higher than them. And then eventually I did tell them it, it was because I pressed the red button like they told me to. Oh! Bad idea, Jay. And it was very funny. So yes, if you are ever on the Men in Black ride, do not press the red button until it is time, and then press the red button. Darn it, I missed. There we go. It is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I, the Men in Black one is one of the... Um, it's one now one of the oldest rides at Universal Studios in Florida. Um, the, the other old ones have sadly mostly been replaced. Uh, one of my favourite rides uh, used to be the Back to the Future ride. And unfortunately they replaced it with The Simpsons, of all things. It's the same ride, basically, but they like they gave it a new skin, basically. Um, darn it! I'm very bad at aiming. Um, 
Why do I keep picking the wrong thing? Arg. Um. So I loved the Back to the Future ride. It was one of my absolute favourites because I love the Back to the Future films. Um. But they've replaced it with The Simpsons, which is very weird because The Simpsons is quite old and not that popular anymore. Um, like, compared to a lot of things, they could have replaced it with or, you know, kept Back to the Future, which is, you know, quite classic. Um, oh, oh, I knocked that one. Yay. Um, and they replaced Jaws um, with the Harry Potter Gringotts slash um, um, Leaky Cauldron, etc. All of Diagon Alley area. Um, and Jaws was like one of their original rides. Um, um, which, on the one hand, I'm sad because nostalgia, but on the other hand, I love Harry Potter and I absolutely hated the Jaws ride because the sharks scared the poop out of me. Um... But it, it was sad to see it go because, like, I have weird nostalgia for it even though the ride terrified me and I absolutely hated riding it and my parents, like, had to force me and I would sit in the middle of the boat and, like, cry the entire time while I was on it because they loved riding it. <laughs> uh, I know, right? The Simpsons is a bizarre choice because it's not that, that popular anymore. But they, they did, like, they redesigned the whole area to be very Simpsons-y and they, like, redesigned some of the cafes to be donut shops and stuff like that and yeah they replaced the entire very popular back to the future ride with its own story of video they just replaced like the video and stuff with um simpsons instead it's the same track and everything because it's one of those you sit in it and it like moves to the video um and let's see um they got rid of uh Terminator um, which was like it was set just after Terminator 2 I think or it was something like it was Terminator 2 3D it was called something like that and that was a lot of fun you went into an uh, audience and it was kind of like um, kind of like a 3D 4D participatory show it was fun but they got rid of that one unfortunately um, Oh yeah, you can find all these rides on YouTube. Like, just just type in, if you go to Wikipedia and like type in the park name, say like Universal Studios Florida or uh, Disney World Magic Kingdom, for instance, you can find a list of the rides, past and present, and you can just type in the name of the ride onto whoops, that's a turret onto YouTube, and you can you can totally find ride throughs of the game of the game of the rides. It's brilliant. Um. And they replaced King Kong, which was a fantastic ride, with The Mummy, which is an incredible ride, and I cannot recommend it enough. It is one of my favourite rides ever. So that one I am not sad about. Well, I'm sad that it went, but I'm not sad with what replaced it, because it's fantastic. They did, but they've also got some really good ones still. Um, I haven't gotten to ride any of the um, Diagon Alley Harry Potter things, but my my parents and my sister have and they said that they are fantastic um, um and the the simpsons one is basically the same ride it just doesn't have such a good story lovely yes the mummy. Um, the so the premise was as you're in the queue for the the mummy. It's got like a documentary that I guess they must have filmed at the same time as they were making one of the mummy films because it's got Brendan Fraser and everyone in it. Uh, and they're talking like like the set was cursed, and there's like stuff in the background of the videos that show that the, that the set was cursed by something. Um, <laughs> companion cube. Um, yay, my beloved cube. cube. I love you, cube. I will never let anything happen to my cube. Um, yeah, so it's got, like, Brendan Fraser and everyone in it to talk to you on the videos and everything, and the, the queue is 
phenomenally built. It is um, it is like you're on the set of the mummy in some tomb being excavated on an archaeological dig site in like the tens to the twenties. It is it's it's a beautifully done queue. Um, you don't really get to see it very much when you're in a wheelchair because you have to take the lift, but it is beautifully done. Um, Center testing our superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. <laughs> the enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. Um, that's a worrying statement. Um, and there's plenty, like, to do and stuff, like, um, oh, it is, it is gorgeous. Yeah, there's lots of stuff to touch that, like, rattles and stuff to make you think that there's like things alive in there it's it's stunning if you can find video footage of the queue as well i highly recommend looking at that as well as the ride and the ride is just brilliantly done it takes advantage of the track that was already there from the king kong ride which was really fun and if you can find video of that i also recommend looking at that as well um because that one's that one's was really fun as well. Uh, that was called Confrontation, and it was like you were on uh, a hanging. Um, it's not called a subway because it's not under the ground, but it was like one of those, and uh, you get attacked by King Kong in New York. It was a lot of fun. It smelled like bananas. They must have pumped that in. Um, but they use the same track, so you do go backwards at one point, which is a lot of fun. And it is, it is, it's my favourite ride at Universal Studios that I've been on. Um, um, my favourite ride at Island of Adventure, their other park, is the Spider-Man ride, which one time I rode 14 times in one day, because it is my absolute favourite, and my parents wanted to go off and ride a water ride, and I do not like water rides, so I just kept looping round, and eventually the guy was just like, you just, you just, should I just let you back on, because you're just going to keep coming round, and I was like, okay, because I was like the only one there at that time, because, I don't know, it was a low, uh, day on the amount of people in the park or something I guess and it takes an effort it takes a lot of effort to wheel yourself round to the entrance and go through all the queue oops go through all the queue again even though the queue on the spider-man ride is a lot of fun to look through too because it has loads of um it's very much looks like the 90s spider-man cartoon which was what actually got me into superheroes and it's got a lot of J. Jonah Jameson um and like um newspaper the the daily bugle and stuff like clippings and things like that um, for you to look at. But anyway, that's a different part. We're talking about Universal Studios. Um, <laughs> you have a lot of a lot of things to write uh, to look at. Yeah, um, someone likes the Companion Cube a little too much. Nineteen eighty-three. So we're sometime after eighty-three, guys. We've narrowed it down. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Sorry, my throat's still really sore and I'm not supposed to sing. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh, Mummy Ride. Fantastic, yes. Um, brrr, what else do they have? Um, oh, right, this one. I hate this one. Ah, uh, yes. I read that somebody um I read someone did the maths once and worked out that the companion cube could actually fit a human being inside and so if it does speak it's because there's a human being inside and that's why she keeps telling you that it can't speak because it can speak because there's a person inside but that's just a theory right um <laughs> that was brilliant timing um good job you're you're good at those timings proudly um what's another ride uh they used to have a twister ride but that wasn't very good in my opinion um it just used to scare me a lot because it was a lot of water and i'm not I'm, i don't like water rides um and a lot of wind and, and a cow. I remember a cow flying past. I didn't really enjoy that one. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the sounds. Um, 
What else was there? Um... Darn it, it got me. Um... <laughs> I don't even like the log flumes. I can't stand getting wet. Um, oh, no. Um, okay, there's my companion cube. Okay, that's in place. Right. Um, okay, and then there's this ride called um, Rip Ride Rocket. I think that's what it's called. I always get the, the order of the words mixed up. And this one is Tom's favourite ride at uh, Universal. So it's a big roller coaster with lots of twists and loops and stuff in it. Um, and the gimmick is that it plays music that you can you can select what music you want it to play um, while you're riding it. And it has speakers in the headrest so that you can select your own music. And um, it has it has a decent uh, selection of about twenty songs, I think. Um, and I always pick "Bring Me to Life" by Evanescence because it times up well with the the loops and everything. Um, so it pleases me. Um, can I do this? Um, so that was Tom's one and his favorite one. And quote his favorite reason his reason that it's his favorite is quote uh, because I kind of passed out for a second. That's the reason it's his favorite. Uh, that's his mark of a good roller coaster in his words. Um, so um, that's that one. And what else is there? Oh, there used to be this really fun um, Fivals playground. I don't know if it's still there. Yes, that is a reason for it to be a good ride in Tom's eyes. Um, because he kind of passed out for a second. Um, man, I cannot jump with anything in my hands. Um, um, so you know um, American Tale Fievel, the little mouse? Fievel goes west and all that lot. They had a big playground set out like that. Um, darn it, is there like a secret that I'm forgetting that makes you jump higher or further or something? Um, and so it was like you were miniature and stuff and I had so much fun playing in there as a kid that was a lot of fun um, oh the E.T. ride that's it that's the original ride that's the only original ride left from the park you did it the weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck yes yes it did we However, love it it cannot accompany no. you for the rest of the test and unfortunately must be euthanized don't say that please escort your companion cube to the aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator <sighs> pardon me um I don't want to incinerate my cube. Hmm. Rest assured that an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the enrichment center, aperture science employees, and all test subjects of any moral responsibility for the companion cube euthanizing process. That sounds suspicious. Um anyway, the only original ride left from the uh, the opening of the park is the ET ride. Um, you euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject. Now I feel had. evil. Congratulations. Um, and you um, you uh, the the queue for that one is lovely as well. I know, suspicious, right? Super suspicious. So the queue for that is set out like you're going through the the forest that um, you see a lot in the E.T. movie. Oh, what was that? Oh! Faily Squash! Oh, thank you for following! That's so sweet of you! Thank you so much! I didn't know that there was anyone else watching! Thank you for watching and thank you for following! Um, that's so nice of you! That helps with our follower goal! Um, when we get to 50 followers, um, we're going to be, um, the enrichment center is required to remind you that you will be baked and then there will be cake. That was very suspicious phrasing, wasn't it? 
Um, when we get to 50 followers, we're going to be playing a, a one-off of Tomb Raider 1, and I will be blindfolded, and my, um, my husband, who is not here right now, uh, due to work, will be trying to direct me. And he has only played the game once for when we streamed, whereas I've played it many times. So we'll see how well that goes. So you have helped us get to that goal, for, uh, get close to that goal, so thank you very much. Um, what was I saying before? Oh yes, ET ride. Right, so the queue is all like um, foresty and stuff, and it's it's very atmospheric. They did a great job that has really held up over all these years, because it's been there since the very beginning of Universal Studios, and that's been around since like 1990. Yeah, I think the park is just like one year older than I am. Um, which, whoops, I just told you guys my age. Um, don't do any maths, okay, right? Um, and then um, and then you get on the ride and you, you ride bicycles around the entire thing. It's like, you don't actually pedal or anything, and it does have um, accessible ones for if you're in a wheelchair. Um, but you're like sat on, um, I think it's like, three, two... It's a few rows of like four bicycles that you, you sit on and there's a little E.T. at the front that, that pops its head up and down. It's adorable. It's really adorable. Um, and you have like this, it's set out like you're getting checked into like a spaceport thing. So they give you like a passport thing. And you have to tell them your name at the beginning. Um, so you, uh, you take E.T. and you do the, the bicycle thing like in the movie. Um, to get away from the cops and everything. Um. Whoa! Ooh! That was a close one. Um, and then eventually you make it off planet and you actually get to go to E.T.'s home world. And you see all these... Wait, which way did I come That's the way I came from. Okay. And you get to see all these other alien creatures that were on, uh, that were on E.T.'s home planet. Um, and they, they really spent a lot of time creativity wise um planning out what they would all look like and everything it was it was it's very well done it has aged a lot it it i will admit that it is um it's not the the most advanced thing uh electronics wise and looks wise but it is very nostalgic if you've seen the film and if you've read it wrote it since you were a child um right okay oops so we've got to get a button over there. Um, uh, and the, the fun thing is that at the very end, they have E.T. positioned to wave goodbye as you go back to Earth. And he says your name. Oh, I'm going to get shot. Um, he says your name and says goodbye Jay, goodbye Crowdly, etc. Um, to each person who's on your bike. Yes, that's that's the whole gimmick of the thing and that's been around since they started the ride back in 1990 uh, when they went, because like I said, this is one of the original rides. This has right, been right there since the beginning. Um, oh, I got stuck. Oh, that is not doable. Okay. I get confused about what textures are doable and what aren't. Um, it is absolutely adorable, and uh, the only times that doesn't quite work is when, like, they have a loading issue, and um, and so it, it messes up the timing slightly so that it'll get knocked off. Um, and so he won't be saying goodbye to the right people. But it works most of the time, and it is so cute. Everyone loves it. Um, so that's the only original ride that's left. And you bas we basically just are hoping at this point that they do not get rid of it. Because <laughs> it would be very sad if they did. Um, is that going to fire? Yes, that one is. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay. Yay! Um, okay, that's one. Okay. Um, struggling to remember what other rides there are now. Um, I can't 
can't think what else there is at the moment. Oh. Exactly, they're getting rid of an icon. But they've already gotten rid of so many icons. They got rid of Jaws. No one thought they'd get rid of Jaws. Um, and stuff like that. Um, and then for their Halloween events, they set up great big um, haunted houses all over the place, which are a lot of fun, which is why we put our honeymoon off and went in October instead of right after we got married in June. Um, oh, I can't see a thing to drop onto those guys. Maybe I can shoot them with this thing. Um, and that was a lot of fun. When we went, they had they had a Resident Evil haunted house. Oh, darn it, I just missed. Uh, yeah, they had a Resident Evil one, and there was a great big nemesis statue in there, and there was the little red and green herbs dotted about for you to spot. Uh, they had an American Werewolf in London house, which was a fun throwback. Uh, they had a Cabin in the Woods uh, one, which uh, which had s which had a lot of thought put into it. It had um, it had like you going into the cabin, and then it had so many levels of the Oh, I'm getting shot at. Who's shooting me? Um, um, all the different creatures and stuff. And then it had um, an Evil Dead haunted house. So they had two haunted cabins, effectively. Darn it, it missed that guy. Let's see if I can get this guy at least. It's right by him. Um, yeah, a Resident Evil one. It was a lot of fun. I know, right? It felt like they designed it just for us. Um, there was a Walking Dead one as well. Um, what else was there? Um, okay, where are you? Let's see if you're up there. Maybe. Um, it was so much fun. Oh yes, yes. Um, my my um, my brother-in-law. Um, Yes, gotcha. My brother-in-law owns um, what well, up here they call it a camp, but I would call it a cabin in the woods. And he is not a big horror fan like Tom and I are. Um, oh, I've got another turret there I missed. Um, but I'm always saying to Tom that we should get him a fake Necronomicon. Oops. Uh, to put in his cabin in the woods because it would be hilarious, especially for whoever, I don't know, inherits it or buys it after he's finished with it. I just think that would be very funny. Tom said, he won't get the joke, and I'm like, it's not for him, it's for us. <laughs> there is nothing to get over there, okay. But yeah, there was a lot of fun uh, haunted houses, and it was, whoops! It was, it was very much like they designed it for us. And they used to have this really fun show uh, called uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Halloween Adventure, uh, where it was like they would dissect, oh no, woo, they would dissect like the pop culture of the year in a fun Halloween-y way. I don't know what that did. Oh, that opened that, okay. Um... Okay, um... Hmm, I'm really struggling. I can't remember what I'm supposed to do in this room. Um, but that was a really fun show, and you can catch, um, so many of them on YouTube from over the years. And they unfortunately stopped doing them a few years ago, but maybe since they're doing a third, uh, Bill and Ted, um, movie, they'll bring them back. How do I get up there? That is a massive jump. Okay. You on there. But like a platform. Oh darn it. The timer ran out. Oh, I don't actually know anything about it. Um, I didn't- Oh! 
I didn't even know that they had started filming it yet until I saw something the other day that said that they had. Um, like, as far as I knew, it was still just a, uh, we've decided we're going to do this type thing, you know? I did not know that they had started production, and I know nothing about it. If you know something about it, please feel free to tell me and I will give you my opinion. Um, I think they have a good philosophy that everyone should follow, be excellent to each other. Ooh, okay, I got my cube. I don't know where I'm taking my cube. Oh yes I do, okay. Can't remember what I was doing for a second there. Okay, pop you there. Now I've got to go back across. No, you left without me, you jerk. Oh, I remember one time when we were at um, Universal when my sister was still just a little weenie baby in her um, in her buggy. Um, there, they used to have Ghostbusters that roamed around for you to take pictures with, and um, my parents and I were like off to the side, so they thought that she'd been left unattended. So they just came up to her and were started like looking after her. It was very funny. We were actually just right next to her. We were just like off to the side so they hadn't seen us. It was very funny. We have a very cute picture of it. Woohoo! I got my cube. Yeah, I'm through. Uh, I don't know much about it as of right now. All I know is that there's a lot more time hopping and them trying to figure out what song they wrote that saved the world or something. None of them to look out for her though. But not, oh, nice of them to look out for her though. Oh yes, it was very sweet of them. Uh, and it made an excellent picture as well. <laughs> um, oh, so lots of time, there's a lot of time hopping going on lately with films and TV shows. Um, it seems to be quite the trend right now. I wonder if they are going to be picking up any more famous historical faces like they did last time. Ah, this one always makes me feel slightly nauseous. That may be dangerous under certain conditions. Like touching For more them? Information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get right on that. There also used to be a really fun um, Beetlejuice show. This doesn't sound suspicious at all. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, there used to be a Beetlejuice um, musical review show as well that um, that uh, took uh, that was in um, Universal Studios, but they have stopped that unfortunately as well. Oh, that is a quick timer. Um. They button recreated it in the future and stuff. Ah, that type of shenanigans. Okay, cool. Um, yes, our trust in GLaDOS has severely decreased. It always gets very confusing when they're like, um, oh, you know what? I have a great example of that having already created stuff. Um, there's these books. Oh no! Darn it! 
there's these um, books I like by uh, Jasper Ford, spelt with two Fs. So I always want to say Jasper for Ford, but I guess it's just Ford. Um, um, and they're called the Thursday Next books. Congratulations. The test is oh no! Full aperture technology no, I want my cake! Safely operational up to 4000 degrees Kelvin. Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory candescence. But I want Thank my cake! Thank you for participating in this Aperture Science computer-aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. No! You promised me cake, you liar. I am so lied to- hey there's a radio down there. I'm escaping. <laughs> nice. We are pleased that you made it through the final challenge. Mm-hmm. We were going to murder you. Mm-hmm. Pretended. We are very happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous success. Place the device on the ground, then lie on your stomach with your arms at your sides. A party associate will arrive shortly to collect you for your party. You know, Make I don't believe her. To leave the testing area. Assume the party escort submission position or you will miss the party. You know, I don't believe her at all. Um, what was I saying before? I got totally distracted by trying the attempted murder. Um, do you remember what I was saying? Hello. Where are you? I know you're there. I can feel you're here. No, you can't. Oh, yes. Um, Beetlejuice and time hopping. Right. Yes. Those two are not connected. Um, oh, I got a locked door. Um, I love how you can see all the 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 various technolo tech technologies that they had going on. Um, so yeah, the Beetlejuice graveyard review was a lot of fun, but again, they they got rid of that one. Um, I think I probably said Beetlejuice the required number of times now. By the way, if anyone wanted to summon him. Um. Ooh, no, I missed. Darn it. Um. <laughs> that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Beetlejuice, a time travel movie. There you go, Hollywood. Make that. Um. What's over that side? Is that the same? That looks like it's the same. Uh, maybe I can get on better there. Ah. Ah, no! That was a bad idea. Lesson learned. Do not do that. Oh, can I... Darn. Sure you don't want to unlock for me? Rude. Hmm, I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh god, oh god, that is falling. Everything is bad. Hmm, let's go over there and see what it looks like over there. looks identical. That was worth doing. Yay me. Um, but it had a lot of fun uh, songs in it. They were like uh, repurposed pop songs but they were fitting for the characters, you know. Uh, they had like the Frankenstein um, Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula. Oh, I got it. Um, 
Wolfman and stuff like that, the classic Hollywood monsters. Um, what is Black Mesa? 2.5, oh, well, I, that's rude, I was reading that. I think they might have made these in, like, MS Paint. They're very simplistic, aren't they? Quick, we can steal their computers. Oh. Oh, someone failed their test. Ah, it's that room. I have that song playing in my head again now. I always feel like somebody's watching me. I need to stop singing, it's bad for my throat. I keep coughing up blood when I do that. Ooh, we have some clues from the rat man. He says, go up. Guess we better go up. Hmm. Can we go further up? No, that looks like dead space. <laughs> oh yes, what do you have? I may have lied when I named that one. <laughs> I am glad you are not mad. <laughs> I can't get my portal to portal onto anything. Can I do a thingy like that? Hey, I can. Nice. I'm glad you're not mad. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry I betrayed you. Maybe if we don't say anything she won't realise. This seems safe. I'm sorry I betrayed you. She thinks she can and trick me. Yes, that is exactly what we are doing. <laughs> Ignoring her completely. Oh. Guess we're going down here then. I'm not sure that I believe her. That's not gonna work. Um, is that is that thingyable? But it's not thingyable. I'm great at at words, aren't I? Thingyable. That is a very scientific term. You see a bit that's thingyable aside from that? Oh wait, can I do it there and get out? I can, yay, I was just being real dumb for some reason. She's making me want cake. And I resent that because I do not have any cake. Okay, I gotta get up there, right. It's been so long since I've played this game. Good, they do not smush me. I was afraid they were going to smush me, you know? Hmm. 
No, oh, that's not gonna work. Hey, it slid right off. That will do. Oh, it retracted. Rude. Why can't things be more thingyable? Exactly. Everything should be more thingyable. Nice of Ratman to leave us all these clues. I'm very bad at this aiming thing. <laughs> yes, you're right. We should we should definitely um, get her like one of those how to make friends books because she is not doing great at it, if I'm honest. Oh, I'm so bad at jumping. <sighs> Damn it, so close. Yes, there we go. No, don't load. You scare me when you load because I think you've crashed. She thinks she can outsmart us, but she cannot. Street smarts indeed. Okay, where? Ah, I want to be up there, right. Okay, that looks about right. You would be going down when I get on you, wouldn't you? Exactly. Gladys will never outsmart us because we have street smarts. Oh yes, yes. Good times. I have such fond memories. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't you just have fond memories of those times all those people were trying to murder you? I know I do. Just can't get enough of them. This looks like it would be very hard and I would have to do loads and loads of flips to get through it. Thank goodness I have my portal gun. Oh now you care about my safety? <laughs> oh yes, the best memories. <laughs> oh, you were so close on the timing though. You are almost, almost there. Where is my... Uh -huh. Oh, gosh dang it. Well. <laughs> One day you will get perfect at it. When, um, when Charlotte was streaming, I had this weird knack of being able to time, um this Malfoy laugh that she had perfectly for when she would do something that, you know, Malfoy would laugh at. And I have no idea how I managed to do that. Because, like, to be able to do that, you had to have pressed it before the thing happened to make it play 
with the correct timing because of the way the timing delay works on Twitch. So it was just this weird luck that I had that made me be able to randomly press the button at the exact same time before something Malfoy would laugh at would happen. So what I'm saying is, you need to have a lot of luck at this specific thing. So, good luck! I'm rooting for you. You do. Oh, I hate these jumps. Okay. I can totally do this. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I think you may have taken any of the luck I just had. this again. I don't know if those ropes will actually get in my way, but I don't want to risk it. Yes, I did not do a very good leap of faith there, did I? Oh, darn it! Why do I keep forgetting to look where the actual pipe is before I jump? Yes, it's very tragic that I died. We must listen to this tragic, tragic song. Oh gosh, dang it. I looked to see if the pipe was in the right place that time, but then I did my jump badly. Okay, come on. Do this this time. Yes! We did it. <laughs> yes, I, I attribute that solely to you, Crowdly. Oh dear. Someone was preparing for coronavirus. Got water, we've got beans, they just need a bunch of toilet roll. That's gonna date this stream. Oh dear, now I'm here to be stuck. There we go. This equipment starts and stops automatically. I'm sure this will be fine. There's definitely no Indiana Jones moment here. Oh, I have been blocked. Okay. No. Uh oh. This isn't going to end well. It makes me so sad when they go, I don't blame you because I feel so guilty. They should blame me. I am a terrible, terrible person. Aww. I'm so evil for killing them. That claw is really in the way. Can I get up in another one? Ah, uh, nope. Um. No, okay. Oh, I can get you out of the way by clicking you. That's cool. Did not realize that. You're not a good person. You know that, right? Mm. Good and evil. Whoops. Don't end up here. Well, now I just feel awful. 
I'm not a good person, apparently, guys. Glad I said it, it must be true. Oh, there's a wall. I can't remember what the next bit to do is. <laughs> That's true. Our trust in GLaDOS has very much diminished at this point. To kind of the point of no return on the whole trust thing. Oops, I forgot my radio. How do I get up there? There's that. Yeah, that is a straight drop over there. Okay. Oh, I get it. There we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is probably not going to end well. Over here. Hey! Transmission received. 17 of 26. I have no idea how many of those I've actually gotten, like, like which ones of those I've actually gotten, I mean. Oh, that's not right. What happened to Speedy Thing goes in, Speedy Thing comes out. Darn it! Why am I having so much trouble with this right now? There we go. I don't know why my brain says look down, that will help. This is your fault. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back or I will kill you. Now that makes it so different to all the times you've tried to kill me so far. Well, quite frankly, I don't believe there was cake in the first place. But that can't be good. You know, I don't think there was ever actually cake. I think she was just lying to me this whole time. I think you're right. I think it was a vicious, vicious lie. No, <laughs> uh, can I? Um, is there something I can pile? No, but I can apparently just set rockets off there. Uh, no, there's something I can climb on. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. That is still that one, okay. Hello! Hey!
I did it! I was smart. Yay. Ah, I'm getting stuck on the fan blades. Let me back in the pipe. Okay. Oh. I don't think I should touch that. Man, these loading screens keep making me jump. They've got to stop doing that. Event Tuili I got there. Get it? Event Tuili. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Oh no, I hate this room. I just remembered this room. I hate this room. That was an unpleasant, squishy sound, and I do not like it. Oh, my radio. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't shoot me. That's good. I blame me. I'm a terrible, terrible person. Oh, it's so slippery. No, don't shoot me. I expect that is quite the critical area, yes. You. That's the wrong way. There we go. Okay, is that all of them now? Oh, there's one up there. Okay, I put you down. Okay, try this thing. Damn it. Hey! Oh no! Uh oh. That was probably very unpleasant for those poor things. I'm very sorry. Okay, great. that looks right. Ah, let's go over here. So the other uh, Universal Park down in Florida right now, they're currently building a third. Um, whoa! I did the wrong portal. I have such hard time keeping track of which portal I'm using. Uh, is the Island of Adventure. And I remember then that one was first built, um, I think it was in like 2001. Damn it. Um, I think it was like 2001 um, that it opened. And it was supposed to be based off of um, um, books, book things. But that, that kind of got a little bit like muddled because people didn't realize that, that all of them were books, especially the Jurassic Park section. Um, so it's got, oh darn it, it's got, um, when you first go in the section to your left is this huge section based on Marvel, which if you know anything about me, you know is my favourite, favouritest section. Um, and obviously this was not a problem way back when this was made because 
uh, the park, the the Marvel was not owned by Disney yet, but it has since become a bit of an a rights nightmare. Um, okay, that is orange. So that one is blue. Okay, orange, 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 orange. Um, so it's since become a bit of a rights nightmare, but I absolutely love it, and it is my favourite place in the world. Um, and it has a huge roller coaster based on the Hulk, which is very, very fun. It goes super, super fast. Um, it has uh, storm teacups, which are very fast spinning teacups. Um, it has um, a Doctor Doom drop, which is not my favourite because I do not like straight drops. But my mum absolutely loves it because she loves straight drop rides like the, um, like the Tower of Terror. Yes, yes it was. Yes, more rides to add to the list, indeed. Um, and then it had the Spider-Man ride, which, like I said, is my favouritest ride in the entire whole world, and is based, uh, was based, um, looks-wise, on the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. So it was very nostalgic for me for a start, as well as just genuinely being a really, really fun ride to ride. Well, you found me. You yes, I did. Was it worth it? Yes, it was. I think I'm going to have to sit up a bit more. To break so far is my heart. Oh, now I'm sad. That, and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. <coughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery. I'll solve it later. <laughs> Where are you taking that thing? I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. Oh, you have to open it first. That's right. Um, shy a surprise. That was funny. I, I forgot that I put that one on there. Business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Well, of course, you think I'm you'd say that. You with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. You're kidding me. Did you just set that aperture science thing? We don't know what it does. Into yes, an yes, I did. Science emergency intelligence incinerator. That yes, yes, I did. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the <laughs> center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding <laughs> the center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh. So that probably that wasn't the best idea. Responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just hold down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright. Keep doing Dawn. whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The world can hear Come on, hit her, hit her, hit her. Yes! Wait, no, stop! Oh! Thing you up isn't Stupid bouncy thing! It's the fluid catalytic cracking on it. It makes you spook weapons. Nice job breaking it, hero. <laughs> nice job breaking here. That's the name of a trope, isn't it? Um. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. I can feel pain. Do you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is. In base four, I'm fine. <laughs> I let you yes. Okay, where'd that go? Where'd that go? Well, you've managed to destroy oh, that is so that far up. Me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to, you can't get the toxin into your head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party. Oh, this one's telling us the chocolate cake recipe. Oh, that's mean rubbing that in. Because you don't have any other friends because of how unlikable you are. 
It says so right here in your personnel file. Unlike a <laughs> neurotoxin. <laughs> Anyway, the Spider-Man ride is totally based on the 90s Spider-Man, which was, ah. What got me into... What the heck is that attached to? How am I supposed to grab that? That's not on anything. How am I supposed to grab that? Darn it. Oh, I got it. Yes. Oh, this one's crazy. Oh, it didn't. Thingy. She feels so good. Did we do it? Did we break free of the Aperture Science Lab? Don't take me back there and set up for the sequel. <laughs> Not quite. Now I must resist singing, which I find it very hard to do because I love this song. Actually, I had the DJ uh, have this song on our list of songs to play at our wedding reception. And um, one of the tables at our wedding that I had put all of my... Um, uh, younger friends on rather than my family or older friends and stuff that I knew through theatre and stuff they, they sung along to it <laughs> yay there was cake after all it was so much fun like the song came on and they all just went oh, this song and started singing along it was very fun a triumph I'm making a note here huge success we did it it's hard to overstate my satisfaction and in the exact we amount of time too yeah this song we do what we must because we can for the good of all of us except the ones who are dead but there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science can't You have no idea how badly I want to sing <laughs> Dear subject name here I don't believe that, I think she's very angry Thank you. 
I like that GLAD is spelt like GLADOS with the big letters except for the A. That pleases me. Yeah, this game is actually really short. The uh, the sequel's um, about is, is is the sequel's longer. Um, quite a lot longer. I think it's about double or more. Not sure. The like main chunk, and then it's got the 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 two player aspect as well, which really extends it. <laughs> postscript, post postscript, post post postscript. <laughs> Once when I was in the first year of sixth form, Woohoo, we have cake. Some some kid was what was he saying? He was saying he needed an example of something that people don't know the meaning of anymore. And his example was PS. And I was like, actually, it stands for postscript. And he was like, he was looking at me like, you just ruined my example. And out loud he said, well, you you know that because you're weird. And I'm like, well, yes. But you didn't have to say that. So we have completed the game. Yay! <laughs> the cake was actually real indeed. It looks to be some kind of Black Forest Gatto type thing. Assuming those are cherries on top and not round balls of jelly or something. Now I want cake. <laughs> uh, that was not the worst thing that was said to me at school, don't worry. Uh, that was really quite mild. Right, so that is it for today that is our that is our stream i will be back on next monday so thank you to my new follower bailey squash i really appreciate you following that was awesome of you thank you to everyone who watched and thank you very much to crowdy for chatting with me for the entire time that was really brilliant i apologize again for the sound trouble at the beginning i don't know why the microphone was doing that i assume it had something to do with the computer deciding to update last night because you know windows updates <laughs> If you liked what you saw, please give us a follow and help us hit that follower goal for the special Tomb Raider stream. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye!